Hello everyone, hope you are all going good. So in this session, I am going to explain about the k-means clustering. So here we see a diagram, graph represents a dots. So we are given a data set of items with certain features and values. For those features, the task is to categorize these items into groups. To achieve this, we will use the k-means algorithm. As we all know that the k-means algorithm is an unsupervised learning algorithm. So let's see. So this algorithm will categorize the items into k groups of similarities. To calculate those similarities, we will use the Euclid's distance as measurements. So I have done a code related to this. So I am giving an overview of this. So first we initialize the k points called means randomly. So here k can be any value as per the data. So k can be 1, 2, 3, 4, any, any value. So we categorize the each item to its closest mean. So and then we update that mean coordinates which are the averages of the items and categorize this mean so far. So we repeat this process of a given number of iterations at the end. We see the code here. So I have taken input as a text file data.txt where each line represents an item and it contains a numerical values one for each features splits by a comma and uh, you can find a sample data set here we will read the data from the file saving it into a list and each element of the list is another list containing the item values of the feature so to do that uh, here i have uh, initialized the read data and file name so i have opened a file name in a read mode and i have split the lines and then close the file now I've read the data, so items is called list, I'm initializing it in the list for i in range 1 to length of the lines. So I'm uh, splitting the data by comma. So item is equal to list for j in range length of the line minus 1. So this is converting feature value to the float. So v is equal to float of line j add feature to the value to the directory item features dot append v items dot append item features so append is uh, adding the element to the directory so we shuffle that items and we return that items to the function so we see that this is the graph and this is the data next the initialized means we want to initialize each mean value in the range of the feature values of the item. For that, we need to find the minimum and maximum for the each feature we accomplish that the following functions. So we declare the define call min max items. So your hen is equal to length of the items at the zero index. So uh, we are finding uh, minima and maxima so minimum and maximum values here so for the, this is the code the for items in it, item in items for f in range of length of items if item of f is less than minima of x then we print the minimum value and in vice versa we print the maximum value and return to the function so the variables minima and maxima are list containing the minimum and maximum values of the items respectively so we initialize this means features values randomly between the corresponding minimum and maximum in those above lists so to do that we are having a code here uh, def initialize means items k this is a parameters i have given here and initialize means to random numbers between the num min and max of the each column feature so f is equal to length of items so mean for 0 for i in range of f for j in range of k 
so we have set a uh, random float and uh, we have find the mean so we are seeing that in the graph here we find that the minima and the maximum value now we using this minima and maximum now we used to we find the euclid's distance so we will be using the euclid's distance as a metric of similarity for our data set so we sure sure that the depending on the items we can use another similarity function but i'm using this so def euclid's distance to calculate the euclid's distance this is the code so s is equals to 0 because the sum of the squared differences of the element so for i in range of length of x x is equals to math dot power x of i minus y of i comma 2 so as we all know that the euclid's distance formula is uh, uh, square root of uh, x x minus y whole square so we have done x minus y whole square so we are initializing this value into the square root and we are returning to the function so we make this code easy so so in this graph you can see this is the euclid's line and we found the distance next we see the update mean so to update a mean we need to find the average value for its feature for all the items in the mean cluster we can do this by adding all the values and then we divide the number of items or uh, we can also use more elegant solutions but we will calculate the new average without having the e add all the values uh, by using this formula uh, called uh, m is equal to m into n minus 1 uh, plus uh, items of x and so it's a x and divided by n so so in the pretty way when we come to our data set uh, it's a function of data mean and uh, n mean and item other uh, parameters given here so for n for i in range of length of mean m is equals to mean of i so it's the formula i just have not told and after calculating this uh, return this value to the function now we have calculated the mean and now we just classify the items so now we need to classify uh, write a function to classify an item to group a cluster for the given item we will find its similarity to each mean and uh, we will classify that item to the closest to one so here you see that uh, this was the very closest to one of the line uh, dividing the two data sets so this was the very closest one so by touching this point we are drawn a line here so to achieve this uh, we have def classify means of items classify item to mean with minimum distance so as uh, to classify this we need to find the minimum of distance which is touching to that point so you see that here it's very close one uh, compared to this so this is the point that's touching let like, uh, just like a tangent so this is the calculation part do that for phi i in range of length of means and to find the distance from the item to that mean uh, distance is equals to euclid distance item comma means of i so that's what we calculating that uh, euclid distance uh, so if distance is uh, less than minimum minimum is equals to distance and just we need to uh, calculate that minimum distance and return that index value to the function uh, next to find mean to actually find the mean we will loop through all the items classify them to the nearest cluster and update the cluster mean so we will repeat this process for a fixed number of iterations it between two iterations no item changes classification process as algorithm has found the optimal solution so the we see that the below function k takes the design number of clusters 
the items and the number of maximum iterations and uh, which will returns the mean and the cluster so this uh, classification of an item is stored in the array belongs to and the number of items in the cluster is stored in the cluster sizes so we find the maxima and minima for the columns and then we initialize the mean at random positions now initialize the clusters and the array to hold the number of items in the class list and array to hold the cluster an item in it now we calculate the mean and if there is no changes in the cluster that occurs when we execute this code now classify the items into a cluster and then update the corresponding mean so cluster sizes so now the item changed to cluster now so if there is nothing to be changed then return it to it so after this all the code now we see that uh, the graph here here it is like this so so this this uh, line can be drawn club however so this can be like this like that and somehow anyway so according to the data it can be changed so now we need to find the clusters it's a last step so we need to find the clusters so we to cluster we have to init the clusters and the classify the item into the clusters and i add an item into the cluster so we added a clusters here and uh, it's the final output and now we see that the data has been separated uh, before uh, before the k means algorithm the data is so congested and split one now after the implemented in the k means now we see that the, this data is the similar one so it have two clusters and the data in present in it so that's it hope you have cleared this thank you